It's my 30 days of 30 paintings, like every day for 30 days. <laughs> and I'm on number 10, which is special. It's said uh, to me, it's one third of the way through. It's also, um, a, a, a special day because yesterday I kind of made a breakthrough in what I was wanting out of my art. So I've been doing landscapes. I'm happy with the overall look of them. Um, I'm doing mediums like oils that I haven't used in a long time. Um, applying it on metal, which is fun. But now I discovered um, a way to adapt and add in some of my abstracts that I love to do. So I have my um, landscapes and then in the forefront I yesterday put in chunks of color to relate to the masses of the um, it was a land it was a water scene so it was the masses of the rocks in the forefront and the ocean in the back was a little bit more realistic and I liked that a lot I liked combining the two because I love to paint realism but I also am a by heart I'm an abstract girl so and whimsical so for me it allowed me to do both so this is where I am right now and we'll see what happens today. I, I'm going to try to hone in and really um, just a, just embrace this path I'm going in and really just let it happen. So we'll see. Um, stay tuned. Thanks for being here. everyone. Okay, so I have decided today, um, I wanna do landscapes and I, I like I talked about previously, I learned um, what it was that was bothering me a little bit. I wanted to be go looser. I wanted to add some more abstraction. And today I want to add an animal or two or three or four. So I have an old picture that I, in my mind, when I went to um, Carmel over at the Carmel Valley Ranch. And so um, I've been there several times and every time I go there's the sheep out in the pasture and I just, I love it. So I'm going to depict that in a painting and I hope you like it. It should be fun. And my idea as of right now is I'm going to maybe focus on one of the sheep being somewhat realistic and then apply the thick um, bodies of paint just to represent the sheep, the rest of them. And then of course um, abstract the foreground from the background of the painting and make the background a little bit more realistic. So we'll see, I don't know, it's what I have in my mind right now. So I will see you in a few once I get started. So I have my, my painting layout and I'm feeling good about the mood or the feeling of this and so I'm moving forward with um, manipulating the paint and color and and gestural um, of the sheep and you know obviously working on the landscape so excited about this direction and I will post my next stage so my next stage is um, the way I see it is there's going to be light coming down and I just want to intensify and modernize some of it so I'm going to add some other sheep in here that I would think would be in there and also um, intensify the green grass in some areas where the light might be hitting it harder also the idea of maybe even some sheep in the pasture are moving at the time when this image is being captured in my head so that could be another another nice look so right now I'm just going to lay out a few different colors. I think I want to do blocking out in big, bold um, patches. I'm not trying to create sheep. I'm just the gesture or the feeling of what a sheep would feel like. That's all I want. And that would be my goal. If I can achieve that to the viewer, that would be cool. I don't expect a lot of people to just think this is the greatest thing on earth. But for me, um, it's it's a way for me to feel good about a direction or a, a style that makes me happy and right now in my life that's kind of where I am and I that's what I want to do so um, and if someone loves it then then I'm, I'm I'm happy about that that makes me happy and I, I understand that's not always going to be the case and that's okay okay so I'm feeling good again um, trying to re reproduce the feeling or the movement of what's going on in this um, scene and again I don't know exactly I don't have anything pre-planned on purpose because I find if I pre-plan things then they then then they do become contrived and that's I don't want that um, so the, I'm happy with this actually I think this is kind of cool yeah so that's this is it this is that's the finished painting so 
I thank you again for being here and I'll probably come in and just do a few little minor changes in brush brushing in or or just put a little detail in there but overall I'm, I'm happy with how it looks and um, I'll post this on my blog and on my website have a fabulous day I know I will that I got this number I guess I'm number 10 out of the way here so yay bye